Hi, welcome to our web design video blog. My colleague Nick is still on holiday, so I'm just going to do this video tutorial um, on Safer Web by myself. So the last couple of video blogs we've been doing, we've been talking about optimizing the uh, file sizes of your website. Um, and today we're just going to sort of focus on Photoshop's Safer Web feature. So if you're a designer and you're making uh, graphics for your web page, uh, you're probably already familiar with the Safer Web feature. But if you're not, it's essentially a setting built into Photoshop to help you save your graphics website um, that are suitable for online viewing. So uh, it's under File and Save for Web and Devices. Uh, and essentially what this will do is it will save your graphics for you at 72 dpi at RGB, which are the uh, perfect settings for uh, viewing graphics online. So uh, for this demonstration, I've got a photograph of a car and we've also got a icon, which is our company graphic. So to use uh, Safe Web, um, again, all you have to do, instead of just going to File, Save or Save As, you actually want to go to File, Save for Web and Devices. So if we bring the panel up here, um, there's quite a few little sort of settings and things on here, but we'll just look at the, uh, you know, the common ones and the ones that are relevant today. Um, the optimized view, which is just here, shows one single uh, graphic, which is the current one that we're going to be optimizing. If you go to two up um, and four up, you essentially get different grades of quality, which can help you choose to optimize your file size. Um, we'll come back to those in a moment. Um, now, a good rule of thumb when saving graphics um, for your web page is that a uh, photograph would be usually saved as a JPEG or anything with a lot of um, color or detail. And uh, something with a, something like small, a small thumbnail or something that has very few colors, like a, like a logo, is pretty much always saved as a GIF. Uh, this is basically due to the fact that you'll get um, better quality uh, for a lower file size. Now, quite an important thing um, in Safer Web, if you're using a Mac, um, quite a lot of people said to me, oh, well, when I save my graphics to web, it actually lightens the original um, graphic. Um, if you change your uh, preview from uh, Macintosh, no color management, to Windows color management, this should solve that problem for you. Okay, so if we look at then at the um, JPEG, at the moment we're at 100% quality, as you can see there in the uh, top right corner. And down here on the bottom left, you can see um, the file size of the output. So at the moment it's 84.45 kilobytes. Uh, so if we essentially start to play with the quality of this graphic, um, let's say we move it down to 80, you can already see that the file size is almost halved. So the actual quality of the graphic has you know, barely changed you know, to the naked eye. We've actually managed to half the file size. So usually for, uh, for most photographs, I usually tend to go between 60 and 80% quality. Uh, for this particular one of a car, um, if we lower it down to 60, um, you can just start to see the picture breaking up um, and sort of starting to pixelate. But again, we've lowered the quality down from 80 to 30 kilobytes. Uh, there's also another good setting for saving JPEGs, and that's by ticking the progressive box. Um, you might be familiar with loading a web page and seeing graphics slowly come into focus. So you'll have a JPEG load, it's usually very grainy and pixelated. Uh, and then over a couple of seconds, um, that, that sort of quality sharpens and the picture fully loads. So that's called progressive loading. If you tick that box, usually you'll also get, um, you know, it saves a few kilobytes up as well. Okay, so saving any sort of graphic then, uh, whether it's a photograph or something with a lot of color or detail, you want to be saving as JPEG. And essentially what you want to be doing is uh, lowering the quality so that it comes down to the smallest possible file size that you're willing to accept without um, affecting the quality too much. Okay, so if we go now to our logo, um, whenever you're again saving something that's got a few colors, something like a logo, you're pretty much always gonna wanna save it as a GIF. So again, this is automatically pulled up as a GIF. You can see uh, in the bottom left, we're currently at 4.67 kilobytes. Now, if I was to change this from GIF to JPEG, um, and even let's even bring the quality down to 60, which is what we're working on with the picture of the car, um, you might not be able to see this very uh, you know, clearly if you're watching this on YouTube, um, but the colour in the green, dark green here particularly, um, is starting to sort of break up and pixelate. And in the bottom left anyway, we're at uh, 14 kilobytes, so it's already over three times the file size of using it as a GIF. You know, if I lower this right down to you know, the quality of 10, um, hopefully you can see that that graphic's now getting really pixelated and distorted, yet we're still only at 9.3 kilobytes, so it's still over twice the size of doing it as a GIF. So switch it back to a GIF. As you can see there, we've got the nice clear logo back and we're at a smaller file size than if we were using JPEGs at all. Now, um, when saving GIFs, again, you know, it's not just a case of um, pushing save. What you also want to do is get into the habit of looking at the little 
uh, colour toggle here, which is essentially the um, GIF equivalent of the quality when saving for a JPEG. So automatically it's usually at 256, which is the maximum amount of colours you can have in a GIF. Um, you know, you can lower this down, which essentially lowers the quality and lowers the file size. And looking at my logo, there's only three colours in there. There's two shades of green and a shade of grey. So if I was to sort of lower this down to somewhere like 16, um, the quality is just starting to again, you know, start to pixelate around the edges. Um, but we've actually managed to lower the file size to 3.04 uh, kilobytes. Um, so we've effectively lowered it by about 25%. So if you can get into the habit of saving your graphics in this meticulous way, saving each one individually, getting it to the lowest possible file size, um, it will all contribute to having the lowest possible file size website. So that's the uh, basic um, guidelines to Photoshop Safe Web feature. Um, if you want to, it's good to sort of um, you know introduce um, the Safe Web feature into your system of making a web page, and really focusing individually on the individual graphics that you're saving mm -hmm. for your website. Because what you've got to bear in mind, as we talked about last week, when saving um, all of your files together, um, shaving some bits and pieces off here and there in the HTML um, literally saves a couple of. Um, you know, kilobytes overall, whereas it's the graphics that really make the difference. If you've got a lot of graphics on your website, then it's very important that you lower the file sizes of your graphics as much as possible. Okay, uh, also hopefully, um, if you haven't seen it already, we've uh, got a new video on YouTube, which is um, called The SEO Song. Um, a link should appear now to take you through to that, so I appreciate that. It's quite a lot of fun. The marketing team made it on uh, search engine optimization. So uh, that's the end of the uh, tutorial. Thanks for watching.